Police have been using fingerprints to identify people for over a century now. But now they have a new tool, technology, which allows them to identify faces and ultimately identify who's on the right side of the law. As the innovation gains popularity within law enforcement, however, it is also drawing criticism from those who say it is putting privacy at risk. CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano joins us this morning with that story. Nice to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Erica. Well, currently, to verify someone's identity, officers have to type a name into a computer to see if it comes up with a match in various databases. Well, now there's new mobile technology allowing police to perform that same check in an instant. We've combined the capabilities and strength of a smartphone device with three biometrics, fingerprint, iris recognition, and facial recognition. These new devices cost $3,000 each and attach to the backs of smartphones. Just take a picture of my face. It's taking that photo. It's then matching that against an existing database. During the time that I'm explaining this, it's going to go out and it's going to transmit it back and forth using the wiles, and it's going to bring back who it thinks I am and the next two likely candidates. And there you are. With the device, police will instantly be able to check if that face is tied to a criminal record. Sean Mullen, whose company developed the technology, says there are protections in place to ensure it can't be misused. How foolproof is this technology? None of the data stays on the device. It can only be used by authorized individuals who are pre-authenticated on the network and on the device. But some argue that scanning faces is no different than a search requiring a warrant. There are also fears that this unregulated technology puts the privacy of law-abiding citizens at risk. The fact that they're, they're agreeing voluntarily not to retain information doesn't keep them from deciding at some point in the future that they will. The device has already been tested in Plymouth County, Massachusetts, and Sheriff Joseph McDonald plans to outfit a handful of his deputies this fall. It's going to allow that officer on the street to get virtually instantaneous access to that database to retrieve that information uh, very, very quickly. Sheriff McDonald also understands the concerns the device raises over civil liberties and privacy. His guidance to his deputies not to use facial recognition unless they suspect some sort of criminal activity has occurred. There has to be some uh, sort of contact, some sort of uh, reasonable uh, circumstance under which the officer would deploy that technology. Now, the company BI2 has orders from about 40 law enforcement agencies to deliver around 1,000 of the devices. And one more thing, this same kind of portable technology has been used in the past by the military to identify people, including possible terrorists, in Iraq and Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Interesting stuff. Elaine, thanks. Mm -hmm.